Hello friends, in the last videos, we solved initial value ODE problem using explicit Euler method and implicit Euler method. In this video, we are going to solve the initial value ODE problem using modified Euler method. This modified Euler method is a higher order method and can produce more accurate results. So our objective is to solve the first order ODE using modified Euler method. This modified Euler method is also called Hewn's method. This is a two-step method. The previous methods we have seen to solve ODE, the explicit Euler method and the implicit Euler method, they are one-step methods. Modified Euler method is a predictor corrector method. The details we will be seeing a little later. So consider a general nonlinear first order ODE of the form y dash equals f of t comma y. And the initial condition is given as y at t naught equals y naught. Then the mod modified Euler method equation is given as y n plus 1 p equals y n plus delta t times f of t n comma y n. This equation is the same as the Euler explicit method equation we used before. If we let fn equals f of tn comma yn, we have yn plus 1p equals yn plus delta t fn. This is the predictor equation. Then we write yn plus 1c equals yn plus delta t over 2 times fn plus fn plus 1p. And this is the character equation. So equation 1 and equation 2, the predictor equation and the character equation together form what is called the modified Euler method. To summarize, the FTEs in the modified Euler method are an explicit predictor character set of FTEs which requires two derivative functions evaluations per step. The error in calculating yn plus 1 for a single step, local truncation error is of the order of delta t cube. The global error is, that is the total error accumulated after n steps is of, of the order of delta t square. In the previous methods we have seen, the explicit Euler method and the implicit Euler method, the error was of the order of de delta t. The modified Euler method is conditionally stable. For a linear first order homogeneous ODE of the form y dash plus alpha y equals 0, the stability criteria is delta t should be lesser than or equal to 2 over alpha. This is the same as we have seen for the explicit Euler method. The FTEs are consistent and conditionally stable and thus convergent. We will now do the same example problem that we have done before. When we solve this ODEs using explicit Euler and implicit Euler methods. Here dy over dx is given as shown and we need to integrate this equation to solve for y. Here x varies from 0 to 4 and we use a step size of 0 0.5. The initial condition at x equals 0 is y equals 1. The exact solution is given below. We will now do this problem manually. We write down the first equation, the predictor equation, which is y n plus 1 p equals y n plus delta t times f n. And f n is given over here. When n equals 0, we have y 1 p equals y naught plus delta t times f naught. Here delta t which is equal to delta x equals 0 0.5 and y naught equals 1. Then f naught equals f of x naught comma y naught which is equal to 8.5 as x naught equals 0. So y1 p equals yn plus delta t fn 
or y0 plus delta t f0 which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 times 8.5 which is equal to 5.25. Now we will use this value and we will use the second step which is the character character equation which is yn plus 1 c equals yn plus delta t over 2 times fn plus fn plus 1 p. For n equals 0 y1 c equals y0 plus delta t over 2 times f0 plus f1 p. Now we will evaluate f1 p which is equal to f of x1 comma y1 p. In this case in the function f of x comma y this function f is solely a function of x so we substitute x1 into that equation so we get f1 p equals 1.25 as x1 equals 0 0.5 then we substitute this back into the predictor equation so y1 c equals y0 plus delta t over 2 times f0 plus f1 p which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.5 over 2 times f0 f0 we calculated previously as 8.5 so we substitute that over here 8.5 plus f1p which is equal to 1.25 so we get a value of 3.4375 likewise we can do y2c and y3c etc We will now do the same problem using MATLAB. The modified Euler predicted uh, character method is shown here. So the initial value ODE is of the form y dat equals f of x comma y. So the predictor equation is given over here which is yn plus 1p equals yn plus delta x times f1 and the character equation is given as yn plus 1c equals yn plus half times delta x times fn plus fn plus 1p and the initial value ODE is given and we want to numerically integrate from x equals 0 to x, is, x equals 4 using step size of 0 0.5 the initial condition is given as y at x equals 0 equals 1 and the y exact value is given the initial step size will consider delta x equals 0 0.5 and the equation for the modified Euler's method is given over here. We will now run this uh, case and our value is 3.4375 the final value the character equation and we'll we can compare that to the value we found before which is 3.4375 that matches the value we obtained using MATLAB. So when you compare the results graphically uh, with 0 0.5 delta x the results are not that accurate. We will now reduce the step size from 0 0.5 to 0 0.05 and rerun this case and in this case the numerical value obtained using the modified Euler method y is pretty close to the exact value y exact obtained analytically so in the previous methods um, it, whether the explicit Euler or the implicit Euler method we had to go to very small steps like 0 0.0005 to get this much accurate values but here we didn't have to go to a very small delta x value because the order of this method is delta t square the order of the explicit or the implicit uh, Euler method was of the order of delta t the error was of the order of delta t 
So the modified Euler method is a is an accurate method is um, even compared with the explicit and the implicit Euler methods. So we will do one more problem, just problem two. And here dy over dx is a function of x and y. In the previous problem, this dy over dx is, is a function of x only. So we modified this a little bit to create another problem too. And the limits are given here from x equals 0 to x equals 4 and we use a step size of 1. The initial condition is given at x equals 0 is y equals 2. The exact solution is also given. We'll go back to MATLAB and run the second problem. And we will keep the delta x as 1 and rerun this case. If you look at it graphically, we see some error between the exact value and the numerical value. We go back and change the delta x value from 1 to 0 0.1 and rerun this case. And now the y value obtained numerically and the y exact value, they are pretty close. and the predicted character equation is slightly modified over here because we now had to include uh, the y parameter in the equation so to summarize in this video we presented modified euler method to solve initial value odes the fde is explicit the modified Euler method is conditionally stable like the explicit Euler method. The global error is of the order of delta t square. When comparing with the explicit and implicit Euler methods, the, the global error for those methods of, are of the order of delta t. So the modified Euler method is an accurate method when compared with the other two methods. In the next video, we can look at fourth order Runge Kutta method to solve initial value ODEs. This Runge Kutta method, fourth order Runge Kutta method, is a very popular method and is a very accurate method as well. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please post it. And I will be uploading the code into your website and I will be providing details on the YouTube. Thank you.